Hi, fourth graders. Um, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about dividing by one-digit numbers. Now, this is where we begin to work on learning how to use what we now refer to as the traditional algorithm, which your parents, grandparents, um, also know, know as long division, okay? And so, um, we're going to use place value understanding and properties of operations to perform multi-digit arithmetic, and that's what our standard says. Basically, what that means is we're going to use our understanding of place value and our understanding of multiplication, division, and subtraction in order to solve a division problem and to find a quotient. Our essential question is, um, how can you divide multi-digit numbers and check your answers? So we're going to walk through uh, page 179 in your textbook. Again, this is lesson 4.11. And we're going to begin with the first problem that says, unlock the problem. And this is a real world or considered a real world problem. Um, students in the third, fourth, and fifth grades made 525 origami animals to display in the library. These are origami um, animals. These are art made with paper. Each grade made the same number of animals. How many animals did each grade make? Okay, so we know that the total number of origami animals is 525. And we know that they were displayed, made and displayed by third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grades. And so there are how many grades represented there? I see one, two, three. And so there are three different grades, three different groups of kids who made those 525 origami animals to display. And so our question is how many animals did each grade make? And so our problem, as we write it out, becomes that we have to divide. 525 divided by three. And so our first step, step one, is use place value to place the first digit. And so we look at the hundreds in 525. Five hundreds can be shared among three groups without regrouping. So the first digit of the quotient will be in the, this would be hundreds place. Because right here we can see that three will go into five just one time. And one times three is gonna be three. And so we're gonna place our three here. So we divide we share one, I'm sorry, we share five hundreds equally among three groups. And then we subtract five minus three is gonna give me two, okay? We multiply three times one hundred. And that is because it, it, it is in the 100s, it's in the hundreds place and there's one of them. So we're really multiplying three by 100. And so we subtract a three from the hundreds. So we're gonna subtract five hundreds. Well, that did not fit there. <laughs> Minus three hundreds. Let me go back and make that smaller. I apologize for that. That's real life, what happens in the classroom as well. Okay, so 500s minus 300s. And then we check, we, when we subtract these, we get two. So we know that we have 200s left. And we know that 200s is, cannot be shared among three groups without us doing some regrouping. And so as long as this number is smaller than our divisor, we're good to keep going. All right, so. Um, over here, there's a math talk question. At the checking step, what would you do if the number, if this number was greater than the divisor? Then that would mean we would need to raise our quotient. Our quotient would need to start with a two. We might move up to um, 
a 2 there and see if that gets us to a lower number here than our divisor. I hope that makes sense. All right, and then um, step three, moving right along, we're going to bring down our two here, and that's what's happening in step three. We bring down our two, and so that leaves us with, now we have 22. So do we know a number that can be multiplied by set by three, I'm sorry, to get 22 or close to it. And so we know that one of the factors of three is seven. And so we can share 22 tens equally among three groups. And we can do that by multiplying three times seven tens. And three times seven tens is going to give us 21 tens there. And 22 tens minus 21 tens is what we do next. And we are left with one. And so in this check portion here, we're gonna write out that one ten cannot be shared among three groups without regrouping. Okay, then we're going to move over to step four and we've got to divide our one. So we have our um, hundreds place, we have our tens place taken care of, and now we need to take care of our ones place. And what happens here is we have this one left over and we bring down our ones digit, which then gives us a new number to work with, which is 15, and it gives us 15 ones. And so how do we share 15 ones equally? We share 15 ones among three groups, because that's our divisor. Notice that each time we're dividing it equally, or sharing them equally among three groups, because that is our divisor. You see that here, here, and here, okay? So we multiply three times five ones, and what we get is 15. And then 15 ones minus 15 ones <laughs> leaves us with zero, and we do our check. We have zero ones that are left. So um, just like I told you when we were doing the um, either of the other two strategies, the rectangular or area model or the partial quotient strategy, once we get to zero or a number that is less than our divisor, then we can stop once we have a number all the way to the ones place. Okay, so a quotient all the way to the ones place, sorry. And so our answer, our quotient, is 175. So each class made 175 origami animals. So this is what page 179 should look like. Good job. Talk to you later, guys.